Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Ren. I got a video today from ADM Crazy Reviews. He did a really good compilation of just desperate women on TikTok. You know, they were strong and independent, but now they're doing such desperate things to find a husband. It's pretty hilarious. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Day 10 of forcing myself out in public to find a husband in the wild instead of a dating app. Hmm. What you looking for? We got what you looking for! Oh, I definitely wasn't trying to find that. Hmm. Look at this, she's thirst strapping. It doesn't even look like she watched the video before she uploaded it. Because she's showing a lot more than she should have been showing. I mean, no strings attached. This is not a good way to find a husband. No. Do I need a husband? No. Yeah. I don't need a man. Do I want one? Absolutely. <laughs> and that's the reason why she doesn't have a husband. If you don't need a man, then most guys are going to say no. They still don't get it. Happy Thursday. Um, I'm now in search of a husband what <laughs> single life sucks now you're in search of a husband right after you're probably 30 plus ran through all these guys and then uh just tired of dating all these fuck boys right um single everything sucks uh other than like you know <laughs> getting to do whatever i want whenever i want that's the thing, though. You can't do whatever you want, whenever you want, if you have a husband. That's yep. not going to cut it. Not even with the biggest simp. The single lifestyle is good. Being on the carousel is also good until they get older. Which, apparently, I just don't have the energy to actually do anything anymore because I'm so busy doing all the things that my partner would help me do if I had one. And I don't have one. <laughs> there, I, I, think, I think people are, like, meant to have a pair like you're meant to oh it's so funny now that you're this age and i'm gonna you know, hit the wall that people should have a pair huh but before it was i'm strong and independent i don't need no man but all of a sudden things change when you can't find anybody have a person because how the hell do you work like 60 hours a week you know Take care of yourself, look after your house, look after your kids, look after your dogs, stay fed, do groceries and all those kinds of things by yourself. There's just not, there's not enough time. There's not enough time. So logistically speaking, I need a husband. Yeah. <laughs> and one. Yeah, you're definitely going to get one by explaining to men logistically, I need a husband so he can do all the chores that I'm not able to chew. Yeah, that's going to really go well. Preferably that will do all the artwork because I don't. I don't want to do it. Yeah, that's the way it used to be until they messed it up for themselves. That being said, though, smart women are still getting married and they stay married. But you guys messed it up for yourself. You messed up your chances, your opportunities, because you believed in a lie. Most of you wanted to be men. Let's go. Look at that simp. <laughs> We have ocean here. He's ready. He's ready. He can give you the truth. She's only doing this for attention, and those guys are giving it to her. She wants yep. validation. She looks kind of manly, no? Just at least this look right here. Just my opinion. <laughs> It's so easy for women to get validation and, you know, attention. It's ridiculous. If a man walked out there, you know, looking for a wife, people would be just laughing at him and fucking calling him a creep. I'm actually Sims. so tired of this lifestyle. Like, I'm done. So imagine I was ready for bed on a Friday night at nine o'clock nine o'clock i was in bed ready to sleep and i sat there lying there in the dark and i was just like my best friend is currently on a cute little romantic date with her babes and i'm here going to bed at nine o'clock on a friday night am i that fucking lonely yes you are so here i am sat outside the gym like 
I have an issue with people like, do you have to go out every Friday night? Is it okay to just stay in or, you know, do whatever you need to do? But you do you always have to go out? Why is the young people nowadays just always want to go out every weekend? That kind of trips me out. You know, I mean, I go eat, but that's just for food. I'm not going out to like out out. I'm just going to go grab some food with some like a friend real quick. And then we don't do anything afterwards. We just go home. If I can go to bed by nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, I'd, I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm just so confused that like, we all must be living the same lifestyle i don't get it like are we all just fueled by heartbreak like we're all so lonely that we have nothing better to do than be in the gym on a friday night like god help me i need my what's wrong with being in the gym on a friday night i like working out a husband you see this shows you that no matter what they say they don't like to be alone they can't stand it the whole i don't need a man stuff is all a facade and that's why you can't take them seriously correct what did this goddess do to manifest marriage with her husband in 24 days and yes i called myself a goddess because you need to love yourself so here is what my routine looked like every single day in my 24 day span of time that i was manifesting him so she manifested that in just 24 days but wait there's <laughs> more People want to know what it was like for you when I was manifesting you when we weren't together. Is that a filter? Answer the question. What question was it? Oh. What was it like when you were manifesting me? That's interesting because I always felt like these little random spurts throughout the days where I was feeling like I just had a memory of you. Whether it was a hummingbird or what. This simp ass motherfucker. It was like hanging out in your, your mom's backyard or something like that where the memory would just kind of like pop in and it would entice me to want to contact you. Was that you? That was always me. Okay. You did that? I was connected to you all the time. So you were like... All right, so during this time, I was in my imagination, totally feeling everything. <sighs> totally feeling... Get back here and talk about our love! Bruh. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I just smelled something. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Just, he was in my head a lot, and I was in his head, and it's amazing. Yeah, I saw a lot of Western women on TikTok telling their stories about how they manifested their husbands. So how did I manifest my husband my, in... My God, this manifest destiny shit. It's just... It only works for women. You know, it actually does work for women, in a sense, because there's always men seeking them. So they them just waiting for a man to show up that's gonna like fit what they want. It actually kind of works out for them, which is so fucking crazy because there's so many goddamn men that are so thirsty. Two weeks. Let's talk about how I manifested my soon-to-be husband while I packed my yoga class. I want to tell you how I manifested my husband. Manifestation can work if you get lucky and also if you act on it. You will still got to take action no matter what. I mean, you can manifest losing weight all you want and nothing's going to happen until you start working out. <laughs> Wait, you're pumping gas at night to try to get a husband? You know, like that is probably one of the least places I would probably hit on a woman is while she's pumping gas. <laughs> some delusional chow you know women they really need men like if they don't know it but they need us in so many ways just like we need women not not that we have to have them but there's needs that are needs to be met by women like as women need needs to be met by men and i'm not just talking about sexually i'm talking about companionship i'm talking about you know like family and things like that too so Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.